So we designed the Mountain Hauler 6200 to be simple, intuitive, and functional. This thing can suck up a hind quarter of an elk, super easy, it expands. The internal volume of the bag will go from four to 5,000 cubic inches if you need it. Um, when you're ready to, to carry out meter heads, everything in Sitka Orange can be deployed and, and that's basically deploy Sitka Orange when you've had success uh, to get your harvest out of the field. First thing I'm gonna do is I've got a mountain hauler dry bag. It's a taped uh, waterproof blood uh, resistant bag. Uh, this is kind of pattern to fit in the bottom of the mountain hauler. And then once I get it in there, squeeze all the air out that I can and try to take at least two, if not three or four wraps to kind of close this bag off. And then this hind quarter that I put in here, it'll protect the contents inside from blood. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this strap that basically takes the strain off this sleeping bag compartment zipper. And then I can connect the two straps on the bottom compression straps that just help me kind of tighten that load down. The first thing you want to do when you get ready to load the hindquarter is you want to go ahead and take all the straps and either loosen them or unbuckle them to kind of open up the whole thing and get it functional to drop this hindquarter in. So I'll just go ahead and take the top lid off, undo the side compression straps and the back compression straps. And then if you've got any extra gear inside the pack to make room for the meat, that gear can be taken, those contents from the inside and be moved to the exterior stash pocket. The other feature I'd like to point out is if you did need extra expansion, I talked about it goes a thousand cubes larger in the main pack bag, there's two internal zippers. And all you would do is reach down inside the pack and simply unzip, the zipper expands and there's your extra thousand cubic inches. So now we're ready to deploy the load sling. So I've got it in the top lid here, rolled up. You can unravel the load sling. Again, long Sitka orange straps. It's got two male buckles. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip the male buckles to the female at the bottom of the hydration port. And then I'm gonna take these long straps, put the fast tex at the end, and then I'm gonna come down here where the two compression straps are for the sleeping bag compartment. I'm gonna undo those, and I'm gonna connect those long straps to the female buckles on the sleeping bag compartment and just pull a little slack out. And the reason I do this is especially when I'm loading a quarter by myself, if I don't connect these long straps to something, as I load the quarter, the quarter will pull the straps in and then I have to fish around for them. So this just is a nice little step to make it a little more convenient. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the two orange straps. Go ahead and make sure you reconnect the compression straps on the sleeping bag compartment. Now I'm gonna take the orange straps, come straight up and connect these straps into the top female buckles. And these top female buckles are connected directly to the frame. I'm gonna go ahead and take the initial slack out of these straps and then I'm gonna reach in, I'm gonna grab the orange strap, I'm gonna pull up and I'm gonna tighten the straps at the same time. And what I'm doing is I'm actually transferring the load now to that load shelf so that the meat is supported by the load shelf and not just sitting in the pack. So that the frame is actually sharing the load of this meat. So we have the meat resting in the load shelf that's connected to the frame. We wanna go ahead now and start tightening everything and really trying to compress the load so we don't get any shifting. We get a good transfer of weight. So now that I've got all the compression straps nice and tight, I'm gonna go ahead and reach inside the exterior stash pocket and I'm gonna pull the antler straps out. So again, sick of orange, They've got an aluminum hook buckle on the end, and these are gonna help us secure the head to the top of the pack. Lay the pack down on its back. I'm gonna make sure that the straps that hold the top lid are nice and loose. I'm gonna disconnect one side of the top lid and make sure that one side of the top lid on each side is completely uh, connected. I'm gonna lay it off to the side. 
to make sure again that everything's nice and tight and that these antler straps are free and clear so I can go ahead and lay this bull down on top. So I'm going to take the bull, I'm going to put the head right above the top back compression strap. Now I'm going to take the antler straps and I'm going to start wrapping them around the base of the antlers. I'm going to go four times or so. It really just depends on the scenario. Go ahead and just take a little bit of slack out. I'm going to lay those buckles down like this. Okay, now I'm going to take the top lid. I'm going to wrap the top lid right across the top of the horns. And so this top lid is segmented. It's got two nice big pockets because once you get this whole thing loaded up, if you need access to anything, this top lid's really going to be your only access. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the one side of that top lid. I'm going to tighten it, snug it up, snug the other side down, and then I'm going to take the aluminum hooks on the end of the antler straps. And again, orange to orange, there's orange little tabs at the top of the frame. I'm going to go ahead and connect those hooks and start tightening down those antler straps to secure this bull's head to the top of this pack. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that top back compression strap that I said to place the bull's head above. I'm gonna take that strap and run it through the bull's tines if possible and tighten that as the last security measure before I stand this pack up. I'm gonna flip this around so I'm facing downhill. Go ahead and get in the pack. Stand up, lean forward, get the waist belt right on the top of my hip crest. And you can see this load is nice and tight and really secure for me to walk away and take the last load back to camp.